Hello, today we'll be showing this rainwater catchment system made with a spare tank and it collects uh, water up there from the gutters that we put in. I'll show you that in a second. And it provides um, non-potable water, so you still have to boil it or filter it, but this is a much more substantial system than what we were previously doing with buckets. So up here on the roof we have our gutter and we have this new kind of awning. Um, some caulk there because it was dripping all down from the roof. The water runs down the roof into the gutter and on this side, over there it runs into another just bucket system, but it runs into this pipe and into our tank. So this is an old uh, pressure washer tank. I don't know if it was busted or what, but we got it for free at a teardown. Somebody wanted us to take some stuff away. And here's the material that uh, was inside of it. <laughs> so we probably could have used it, but I just don't really trust, you know, I, we didn't know what was inside of it exactly. It turns out it's this plastic stuff. It was a bag. Yeah, basically a bag. I mean, you could keep that sort of thing on it if you wanted to, but we chose not to. So. There's two openings on this tank. There's one on the top, and that's the only one that we're using right now. And there's one on the bottom. So uh, if we were to take this apart, underneath there's a like a little gasket, and if we had the right fitting for like a hose, we could just take water out, out of the bottom directly. But that seemed like kind of a lot of hassle, like we'd have to measure the thread and everything properly, so decided to just uh, put a piece of that, we cut a piece of that plastic stuff from the tank and made like a, a gasket on the bottom to seal the bottom. And instead what we did is we have this siphon pump system. So how a siphon pump works is you have a tube and the tube can go up and it can go however you want it to go and so long as it's full of water, because water is, you know, compared to air is not very compressible, if so long as the outlet point is lower than the water level, then water will flow. So right now, the water level is about right here on the tank, you can see. How long did that take to fill up? So this has been sitting a few days, I'd say. So the water level is about right here right now. You know, I can stick my hand in the top and feel it. And uh, we have a little spigot at the hardware store. And um, the tube is just kind of like, it just goes into this pipe and the pipe kind of acts as a little bit of a holding tank. It's important that the, o the opening for this pipe is higher than the tank level. So that way water can sit in here and it's never going to flow out the top. If I were to put the, if I were to like lower this so that uh, the top of this pipe was below the water level, then water would start to gush out. That's the main mechanism of this. So basically it's just this tube, it's actually two tubes that were in our junk pile. This was in our junk pile too, but it took a little bit of work to get it um, functional in this way. And you can see there's a little air bubble in there now, a really tiny one. Let's show you that there's some water. And so water um, goes up here, and because the water level is much lower at the bottom, um, the siphon pump does all the, all the work. And that's about the speed that it goes. Yeah. And that has to do with how wide this pipe is, correct? Uh, it has to do with the narrowest part, which is the narrowest part. So okay. if we wanted it a bit faster, we could get a little bit thicker pipe. And to get it started, um, I just sucked out the water without drinking it because it's you know it could have slugs or whatever in it. Um, and then once you have the pipe, the tube part full. Uh, uh. <laughs> then you, um, it'll just flow so long as the bottom is lower than the tank level. Right. And right now, uh, the bottom here at the spigot is like about as low as you can get on this tank. Mm -hmm. So we should be able to use most of the water level on this. That's great. Although you might have to like restart it if you get some air in the line and it stops flowing, for example. But and you had to cut this PVC pipe to make a hole. Oh, right? I didn't. I didn't have to, but um. That, the original design was just this uh, solid PVC as being the tube, mm -hmm. but it was kind of hard to form a seal even after I put some uh, cement on it mm -hmm. to kind of close it up. So this the tube is a lot easier, I would say. 
if you can if you just have some tube lying around you can also use pvc and use it kind of like as a mini reservoir in front of your faucet mm. so that's what we're doing here and why do you have this this is to keep out like leaf litter and stuff that might blow in or like insects that might want to like mosquitoes that might want to lay their eggs in here because it's just uh you can see it's just sitting there so there's the tube that goes down this just kind of this big pipe directs the water flow from the gutter and then this thing just sort of keeps the pipe from slipping down i see keeps it in place yeah cool. so that's it for this DIY catchment. <laughs> and how long did it take you to do? Well, I mean, so today I was working on it for maybe a few hours, but it was mostly just discovering how to fit everything together and like iterating through a few different designs. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye.